What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm really excited because if you guys have been on the channel and seen the channel before, you guys know I'm a really big fan of Altergeist and it was a deck that I played very competitively when it originally came out. Now Altergeist just got announced some crazy new support that in my opinion makes it so that it feels like it's a uh, I'm back kind of situation. This deck is absolutely insane with these brand new cards. Now in today's video we're going to be discussing these brand new cards, breaking them down and showing you guys how they can actually be incorporated into all Alter guys, but if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel, deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, discussions like this one, shorts. You guys are gonna see a little bit of everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys all for watching, and with that, let's get right into the discussion. So I'm gonna be honest, Duelist Nexus is announcing some crazy cards. Right here, you guys can see an Alter guys Link Monster. It's a Link 4 monster. Honestly, I haven't read these cards yet, but uh actually I read one of them and, and that one was really, really good, and it got me excited because as an Alter guys player, or someone who used to play Altergeist a lot in the past. This is really cool, and these cards are absolutely insane. It just, it, I can't help but feel like this deck is gonna make it come back just because of how powerful a lot of these cards are. So let's get into it here. The first monster is a level three monster, 1500 attack. It's a spellcaster tuner. It's a tuner, which actually, which is really nice. I didn't even notice that. The tuner, uh, that, could we be getting a synchro monster for Altergeist? Oh, I guess they technically do have a synchro monster, but it's not good. I wonder if we'll get future ones. But anyways, that's pretty cool. If this card is added to your hand, except by drawing it, you can special summon it. That's pretty cool because uh, now it makes it so that you can go Mila Seek, Mila Seek, make a link one, and then you can search this, and then it summons itself to the side of the field, and then you can make a link two potentially. Like, uh, there, there, there's options with this, especially if you already have a, if you have a full faker in hand already. So that's pretty cool. I really like that if I, it summons itself. This is pretty nice. It kind of has that Trickstar Lily Bell effect, which is really cool. Cool. And then if this card is normal or special summon, you can target an Altergeist monster in your graveyard, except Maul Wisp, special summon it in defense position. Oh, actually, that, that's actually really cool. So that, that makes, a lot of, I, I didn't even read that effect. That, that effect is really good because if you go Mila Seek, make a Link 1, let's say you go into Link Karibo, use the Mila Seek effect, search this, this summons itself to the field. Now that it's special summoned, you can summon the Mila Seek back to your side of the field. And then you can make a Link 3, you can make a Hextia under the Link Karibo. That's, that's actually really, really powerful. Wow. Just just this card alone is actually kind of insane. And that's not including the traps that you have and the extenders you have, et cetera, et cetera. If you have a multi faker in hand and you have a trap and then you can keep going. Wow, that's actually really good. This card is really, really powerful, actually. I definitely see us playing this card. I mean, it might be a one of in the deck because you really want to search it to summon it because again, it has that Lily Bell effect. So maybe it's a one of, but it, it gets the effect off normal summon as well, which is really good in the mid to late game. So I can I, maybe it's a one of, maybe it's a two of. I don't know just yet. Let's read the rest of the cards here. Uh, Altergeist, uh, Pen Pernitrator. What's this card's name? Mall Wisp, and this is Pernitrator. Okay, so it's a level one spellcaster effect monster. Uh, it's a fire. Okay, again, we this deck card loses to goes in match, but still, I think it's still really cool. So uh, you can use the second and third effect once per turn. This card can attack directly. Okay, kind of has the mil oh, is these the Mila Seek stats? Oh, it has a Mila Seek effect as well. If this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can draw a card. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's not as good as Mila Seek. Sending a card your opponent controls is pretty good, better than this, but uh, drawing a card is not bad. Um, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can send one Altergeist card from your hand, deck, or face up to the field to the graveyard, except Pernitrator. Actually, I could see this being okay. You guys might be wondering why at first glance this could be okay. It's kind of like another Mila Seek for you. It's a level one, so you can make it into Link Rebo, which means that you're going to be able to get this effect off, and this effect can be pretty good, because the only card I read was the Trap card, and it synergizes actually pretty well with the Trap card. I wonder if you play this, though. I Maybe, I don't think, I, this you for sure play like this card is just way too good not to play uh this card i'm not sure i think this might be kind of like a win more this effect does synergize though anyways this card is pretty cool it's a level one um and i mean maybe if we get a link one alter guys monster that could be even more crazy uh but let's go into this next monster over here it's a link four and it only needs two alter guys monsters so you can use two other monsters which is pretty nice Three thousand attack which is really cool you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn it's ad minimum ad minia Adminia. Is that how I'm saying that? Altergeist Adminia? Yeah, hopefully I'm saying that, right? If this card is linked summon, you can set an Altergeist trap from directly from your deck. That's insane. Automatically, that's just absolutely insane. Just to be able to set an Altergeist trap directly. It's kind of like your Marionette, right? So you're going to be able to set two cards, essentially, if you can combo off into this. And I think, off the top of my head, I feel like there are ways to make this in your turn one. Although, I don't know why you would make this, other than you just wanted to get an extra trap. Once while the face up on the field during your main phase quick effect, you can send one card you control to the graveyard, target an effect monster your opponent controls, take control of it, and if you do, it's treated as an Altergeist monster. I mean, I guess that's okay. It's 
cool. It doesn't negate the effect though, right? Yeah, it doesn't negate the effect. So it's like if your opponent normal summons a monster and their effect is on normal summon or on special summon, let's say, you can activate this to take the monster, but it doesn't negate the monster effect. Now it's really good if your opponent has a monster that they normal summon and then they have to wait to activate the effect. Like let's say a cost share monster, right? They know they special summon a cost share monster. You activate this to take the cost share monster. Let's say it's a unicorn. They can't actually activate the unicorn effect. But then at that point, you're giving them zero monsters again. And then they can special summon another Kashtera. So maybe that's not the greatest. Uh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's okay. I really like that it can set an Altergeist Trap directly from your deck. Um, but maybe it's a one-off in the deck. I don't really see... Uh, off the top of my head, I don't really see a lot of situations where you really want to rush into this. Because Hextia is just better, I think, in my opinion. But this card's pretty cool. This trap, though, is really, really powerful. So you can only use the first and second effect once per turn. Target an Ultrageist Link monster in the graveyard, special summon it. This is actually really, really powerful because it brings back to your Hexteas, which is really nice. But the other effect is you can banish this card from your graveyard immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon an Ultrageist monster. So this is the part that makes me kind of want to play this guy over here. Because if you send this to the graveyard, let's say you link it away, you can then send this. And then once this is sent to the graveyard, you can banish it to normal summon again. And then you get two monsters on your side of the field. I, I don't know like there's just there is synergy in it but i'm just trying to figure out what the best way to play i mean you can play foolish burial goods always if you want this effect i'm just trying to think because these monsters are pretty good when they're normal summoned as well because this card is normal summon or special summon this card is also uh this card doesn't have a normal summon effect but you have mila seek which is a pretty good normal summon because you can send it to the graveyard you have marionetta which is a good normal summon so it makes it feel almost like this card synergizes well when you're playing multiples of this guy and you really see it in your hand because maybe that's the point Maybe they're thinking like Altergeist has too many good normal summons now This card's a good normal summon, Mila Seek's a good normal summon, Marionetta's a good normal summon So what they're trying to do is they're trying to give you a double summon It is a little bit slow if you're setting this card though and then having to wait for it to go to the graveyard So I guess it is faster if you're sending it to the graveyard with something like this I don't know really man, I don't know If they give Altergeist a link one, I'll, I'll just say this right now If they give Altergeist a link one, I feel like all of this just becomes broken just the fact that it's an ultra guy's name just becomes broken and this card can be set off a marionette as well which is kind of nice if you foresee your hextia going to the graveyard or let's say you have double hextia because there's a lot of ways you can set up double hextia and then you use one hextia to negate the, the one card let's say you negate a card and then you can use this card to bring back that hextia that could be pretty powerful as well actually this has potential I'm not exactly sure where we're going to go with this card just yet, but this card for sure is a three of, like, not three of, sorry. This card for sure is a playable card in the deck, maybe a one of or two of, um, d depending on if we get a link one, because I don't know, like, I'm just trying to think what you can cut from the deck. Like, you can cut Conquery, I guess, if you're playing this as more of a combo. Because you can play it as more of a combo build now, right? You have this card, which is going to get you three bodies on the field. Like, with just a single Mila Seek, you get three bodies on the field, right? Because Mila Seek, go into Link 1, Link Karibo, search this card. This card summons itself. This card wants to summon, summons the Mila Seek back. That's three bodies on your side of the field. There's, I guess, potential in that. Uh, this card as well is a Link 1. If you normal summon it, you make a Link 1. You send the trap. You banish the trap. Um, which gets you an extra normal summon so that could be potentially really good if you have this because then you normal summon this summon this back to your side of the field and then again you have three monsters i don't um i don't know it's it's like one of those things where it's like these cards are really cool this card is actually really powerful as well don't get me wrong it's not that it's not powerful i just don't see a situation where you're trying to make this on your turn one versus making like double hex deal for example i don't know i think these cards are absolutely insane like i I, bro, I, I'm a big fan of Alter guys, and I think the artworks are really cool. Like this, th like this gives me like Trickstar. Like, like does it not? Is it just me? Like this gives me Trickstar vibes. Like th th I don't know, just the colors and stuff. Um, this card is also really cool. I think the artworks are really cool. The, the the Link Monster over here, you guys can see the artwork better here. The Link Monster is absolutely insane as well. So. Um, I don't know. I see a lot of potential in it. I'll be honest with you. I do see a lot of potential in it. I do like that they give this the Altergeist name though, rather than like, uh, spoofing. Like, spoofing doesn't have Altergeist in the name. Um, but there are four new cards. There could potentially be more. I think these cards have potential. Um, I think they're pretty good. And I think they do give the deck a way to actually be competitive again, depending on what kind of format we're in when we get these cards, depending on how many more cards we get. Um, and I, th I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think about these new Altergeist cards. I think these cards are insane. 
And I think there's a lot of potential with this deck now. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. You guys can see now these Altergeist cards actually are really, really powerful. They synergize very well with each other, but they also actually synergize pretty well with the old support and the original Altergeist core, which I think is very important because now you can play these cards and this deck can still be very, very consistent. If anything, it makes it more of a combo deck, which I think can be really, really powerful. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel. We do deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, all that good stuff. YouTube shorts as well. So you guys are going to see a little bit of everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. And with that, it's been Co signing out. Peace.